Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to talk about HTML semantic elements. This is going to be your last HTML uh, lecture and in this what I wanted to do was to just introduce you to some other semantic elements that are very important parts of any website that you would want to create. So the first element that I want to introduce you to is the header. Header is the top part of any website that contains the logo and or any links and images, links within that website, like the home, about, services, and that sort of thing. And then uh, if you want to provide inside the header the links, you're going to provide it inside the nav. This is basically navigation, like you're navigating through that website. So you can see all of these are semantic elements. Within the nav, I'm going to provide an... Uh, anchor tags because they are links they have to be within the context of an anchor tag or an anchor element so I'm gonna say a hash whenever you pass an href as hash it is going to redirect to the same page so it is not going to go anywhere I'm gonna say home let's copy it down below I'm gonna say about copy it down below services like typical links you might see and contact so this is going to be the header part uh, and then we are going to move on to the main body of our website so the main itself is going to be an element now e every website is containing of uh, multiple sections each section is contained within one section element to not overlap the sections with each other so I'm going to create a section so each section is going to have a title I'm going to say like let's say dolphins and I'm going to provide a paragraph that is going to say, let's say, lorem 50. Just save that. So you can see the links. You can see the title, dolphins. And then I'm going to create another section. And I'm going to say H2. And I'm going to say lions. And I'm going to say provide paragraph lorem, let's say, uh, 100 for this. There we go. So that was 50, 100 for lines. And uh, within each section, you can create other sections as well. For example, within this section, you want to create um, another section as well. You can do that as well. For example, you can uh, nest multiple sections into one section. Now you can see that this paragraph takes a lot of space. You can just go ahead and click on this uh, arrow and that is going to collapse it. So beneath this section, there is another um, very cool HTML element named article that is used if you want to create a news website. And in this, I'm just going to say like H2, uh, like um, climate change or something, climate change. And you can provide some data about it, like lorem. This is going to be your data about climate change. You can provide further details, so you can say, details this is going to be an element so let me just say details just provide that provide that there perfect and you can say summary what is the summary of the details i'm not sure why intellisense doesn't work for me right now say summary so summary is going to say read more if you save it you're going to get this kind of a button and whatever you pass in after the summary is going to be whether the user wants to read about it or not. So let's say you pass in 500, like lorem 500, like a very long topic. But you don't want it to be part of your main website. So you can see that it is very long, right? So I'm just going to collapse this. There we go. So if the user clicks on read more, the user will be able to read it. Otherwise, the user may choose to not read it. These are all uh, semantic elements. And that's it for this lecture and for this C, uh, HTML5 Essentials course. Next up, you're going to have the CSS3 Essentials course. See you then.